so what you need is a USB uh, whatever is a USB drive or a flash drive and the first thing you want to do is you just need to format your flash drive a quick format will do so that's done and the, the second thing you need is you need to have call these so I've got it in my computer there so I'm just gonna open it uh, the only thing you need to do then is just to run it and you just press next agree next and when it comes to the state it usually tells you uh, that you want to uh, install it to, to your normal directory for well to do this to make it portable you have to select your USB drive and click OK and you click next uh, if we don't want to create shortcuts and click next and uh, wait for the installation to be completed when this is done uh, we uh, you don't have to click on run code you just uh, click finish and uh, what you need to do is just go to your USD card mine is here and just open it uh, that's your call the executive, uh, executable uh, file what you should do is uh, maybe you can do it in your desktop just go in there and create a shortcut and in a shortcut you want to go to your SD card again find your call the and look to your executable uh, call the well, uh, in here, this is where it's important. You need to just want to uh, put a space and then dash P to make it uh, portable and click next and create. So, what it's going to do is going to create for you a it's going to create for you a portable version of your code the file, exec the executable file. So, what you need to do then is just open it once. When you open it, what you're going to notice now is a portable data has been created in your SD card directory and it's going to open now when you want to move this the the, the, the portable code to your work or to your school or to your friends the only thing you need to do is to take this file here move it back to your SD card it's just going to open the SD card there Uh, it doesn't matter where you, where you actually save it, but I'm just going to save it here just for just to make it consistent. So I'm going to put it in here and paste it in here. So that's that's just done. So let's say you have a, a new computer, you just stick the USB to it. What you want to do is copy this, move it to your desktop, and then just open it from there. And that's pretty much it.